We all know there are enormous stakes for Donald Trump at Sunday night's second presidential debate. He knows the polls took a big swing in Hillary Clinton's direction after the first debate. And he knows his refusal to release his taxes will again be an issue in the second. Well, here's a pretty novel twist. Trump says if you're mad at him for taking advantage of tax write-offs and loopholes, then blame Hillary Clinton. She complains about how I've used the tax laws of this country to my benefit. Then I ask a simple question. Why didn't she ever try to change those laws so I couldn't use them? You know why? She could have changed the laws when she was in the United States Senate, but she didn't. Um. Um, I call, this, is, this is like when I bring my five-year-old cranberry juice and he hurls it all over the couch and I say, dude, and he goes, you brought it to me. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, where, look where Donald Trump said that, though. Here we are a week after the, the presidential debate, and he said that in Prescott, Arizona. Uh, is his sixth visit to a state that has not voted Democratic since 92 mm -hmm. when, it, when it voted for Bill Clinton. Um, the, the debate has clearly changed. Uh, the, the sort of structure, overall structure of the presidential race. Uh, Hillary Clinton now leads in most polls, now leads in most swing state polls, and we're talking about Donald Trump's taxes, yeah. and he has basically acknowledged uh, that, that the, the tax report uh, that came out in the New York Times on Sunday is accurate and true, and that he did, in fact, take that massive deduction. So that, that one debate, again, yeah. another example of how a debate stretches over a longer period of time, is now changing the yeah, conversation and, and forcing Donald Trump in, to defend himself yeah. in traditionally red states. And, and that was what was so wrong with that first debate, right? When he get, when he's getting bogged down mm -hmm. in his own problems and defending his record on taxes, on business, on bankruptcies, uh, it just doesn't work for him. He needs to be talking about the status quo and how that doesn't work for people. Instead, uh, he's very self-involved and very uh, much obsessed with his own problems and explaining his way out of them. It just and, doesn't work. And there's a fundamental question here, right? The argument that they put forward after the debate, uh, Trump and his surrogates, was that, well, in... Pence said it last night, this is good business. He's a good businessman. This is smart. If it's so smart, then why not release your tax right. returns and right. show everyone how smart you are? That's yeah. the kind of thing that Donald Trump would really want to brag about. He's running based on being uh, having business acumen. So a there's this... Right. There's, this, there's this fundamental um, there's this fundamental question here that you know he's leaving open, which is the, t the release of the tax. Right. It's an interesting point because the Democrats are trying to make it you know if, if you're a mail carrier, you're not a mechanic, uh, you're a doctor, a lawyer, you pay for taxes, you got to cut a check, you got to save the money to do it, or you have it taken out. And the rich, the rich don't. Let's see it. But there's also the question of who does he owe money to, right. yeah. uh, leverages his right. business. That's yeah. the stuff that would what be in the taxes. What did he give to charity? That's not in the financial disclosure form. So uh, my colleague Dana Bash tried very much last night. The Clinton campaign has said, okay, if you're under audit for the last several years, release the tax returns from before the audit. Prove that at least after that one year, 1995, you took the big loss, maybe business was tough, perfectly legal. Prove that since then you've paid taxes. Watch this. Pay a tremendous amount of taxes. And beyond, Federal income taxes. And, and beyond, and yes, and, and beyond... Yeah, well, and, yes. And beyond taxes, we also employ tens and tens and tens of thousands of people. The difference between my father and Hillary Clinton is Hillary Clinton has lived off of the government her entire life. She's never created Eric, a single job. Eric, my question, though, is has he paid federal income taxes over the last 18 years, of, yes of or no? Of course, yes, absolutely. Returns. No, I have don't, you seen your father's tax returns? I'm answering the confident. question. Of, of course I've seen my father's tax but returns. He's paid federal my, taxes. My, my father pays a tremendous amount of taxes. I, I suspect we will not see these tax returns, probably ever, uh, probably ever. Remember, he said in 2011, if the president released his birth certificate, he'd release his tax returns. So we've been through this one many times before. But if we ever do see them, there's the sun on the record saying yes. Um, so now inside the Trump campaign, they know if they're looking at those tax returns, uh, if they're going to release them, they better show he paid some. But I think to Nia's point, he needs to find a way to move beyond this story and stop engaging in every issue about his yeah. business, issue about mm -hmm. his taxes. I mean, he took the bait on that debate stage, and that's all he's been talking about. For the past week, I was at a campaign event in Colorado where he said, I'm fighting for the American people now, not myself, and then talked for 45 minutes about his taxes and his business and what a great businessman he is. Right. And He's doing that instead of making the fundamental argument his campaign wants him yeah. to make, which is, I'm the candidate of change, and Hillary Clinton is not.